now that the pump is completely disassembled, another thing that we can look at is the valves, which we actually removed when we took off the heads earlier. And what you're looking for is either a broken spring or any wear that may be on the valve seat or the poppet or any pitting that you might find in there. You can actually pop the valve assembly apart to get a better look and see if there's any pitting or wear in this area and replace if necessary. Three of the valves are facing the other way inside of the crankcase of the pump. When it was assembled, one valve is facing this way under each head, and the other valve is facing this way. To get these out, you'll want to use a reverse pliers. You can pull that straight out and also examine those valves for any, any wear or obstructions or broken springs. If you have noticed a decrease in pressure it may be that you've got a worn set of valves and they should be replaced. So the first thing we'll want to do for reassembly is to put this plastic spacer in. And you want to have it so this beveled side faces down towards that ball bearing. And then put in one of your connecting rod rings facing this way. And then it's, it's helpful to thread these diaphragm bolts into the pistons before trying to reassemble it. This will give you something to hang on to. One thing that can be helpful when putting the pistons back in is if you've got a paper towel nearby. can fold it up and actually put it underneath the piston between the piston and the crankcase and this will help hold it straight in there while you put the other ones in. You'll want to lock in the step that's on this connecting rod into the connecting rod ring. And then take the other connecting rod ring and you can put this in through the bearing side and hook it onto the connecting rods. And then it helps to pull straight out on the connecting rods just a little bit. And then put some oil on this area of your crankshaft. And drop that straight in. You want to be careful not to force this shaft in. You won't have to pound it in with a hammer or anything. Basically you want to pull out on the pistons, pull straight out to help line them up straight with the crankshaft so it'll drop straight in. You can feel it drop into the bearing down below. Good idea to turn it as you go and make sure that <clears throat> And make sure that each of these pistons are moving freely and that you can turn the crankshaft. If you force the shaft in while you're trying to get this together, you'll damage the inside of the connecting rods. So now, 
We can flip it over and put our retaining ring back in. Make sure that the retaining ring is snapped into the groove that's on the crankshaft. Okay. And then we can reinstall the sleeves. And to do that, you'll want to put some oil on the inside surface. Turn the stroke of the piston to its furthest point out. And it helps to put a little mark on the piston because we're going to have to make sure that this is sitting in there exactly right. If it's twisted a little bit, then the pump will lock up and you can cause internal damage. So we'll want to make sure that the rounded side of this matches the roundness of the shaft. So to put this in, it'll help to line up the split on the piston ring with one of these sides here. We'll need to compress that piston ring. You may need to take a rubber hammer and lightly tap it in. If you hit it too hard and it's not lined up right, you can break that piston ring. If you mark it in the center of this, then you want to match that up with this bolt hole. sure that it didn't turn on you. And then we can install the new diaphragm. Now the easiest way to do this is to put this through the washer first, push this into the diaphragm. Instead of putting the diaphragm on and trying to put the bolt in it, and also make sure that this washer is facing out this way. that in. It's an aluminum piston and a steel bolt so you want to make sure not to strip this out. And we'll torque it to 87.5 inch-pounds. Then you'll want to turn the stroke of the piston down to seat the diaphragm into the housing. Push it in all the way around. And then before you put the head on, you want to make sure that you have the right O-rings. The O-rings for this bottom side are a very similar size to the O-rings on the top side. The larger of the two O-rings goes underneath the head and the slightly smaller one will go on top of the head underneath the valve cap.